We are totally flooded with phone calls. Uh, our ward has doubled. We have over 100,000 constituents. We did hire additional staff as well, which makes it a little easier. It's busier. Uh, you know, they, there was counselors that they say, well, you know, I had my Friday afternoons off. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no such thing as off anymore. It's a different kind of job. So, you know, you, you now have double the constituents. Uh, for example, I have, you know, double the business improvement areas that I have. I have 14 of them, plus residents associations, plus, you know, the development meetings. So it's it's a lot busier locally. Uh, we rely a lot more on, on our, our staff, our teams to get involved in our communities as well. The number of case files that I'm getting is, is increasing. Um, and that's just because the population has increased to, to such a large degree. The intakes uh, gotten larger. I haven't seen anything like this in quite some time. Generally speaking, customer service declines when you take away political representation. I have 20 BIAs, business improvement areas, and about 20 well-established residents associations uh, that meet on a regular basis. And you know, they've got an agenda and they expect either the councillor or a representative of his, uh, his or hers to be there at the meeting and to be able to answer some of the questions that are being posed. And unfortunately, uh, that because of we have two, three meetings uh, and any given evening, sometimes it means we're, we're not able to send the right staff person that can answer those questions. Uh, and we struggle with that. For us, we, we have to adapt to that, not being able to go to a meeting. It's, yeah. I still resent that. Um, uh, and I think it's, it's a matter of uh, you know, uh, adapting to, to it's, it's like a new job.